y'all i was just driving and thinking about something so i watched this I, i'm like into you know like crime and investigative stuff right so i was watching nancy grace she has a video out right now about this 12 year old girl out of tallahassee her name is Lori page she's been missing since june 3rd and i have been like ever since i watched that video i was like i just can't fathom i cannot believe that she's been missing for almost we're june is right around the corner so coming up on almost a year she's been missing and it just happened so weird how um she ended up going missing so apparently according to the nancy grace video clip which i'm i just watched this 12 year old girl lived with her father because the mother was not i guess the mom was sort of out of the picture originally nancy was saying the mom was out of the picture but then the mom did a recording for the nancy grace show so i don't understand that she's out of the picture to the point where the girl lives with the father full-time who happens to be a corrections officer and he worked overnight in tallahassee one night um i it seems like june 2nd or the night of june 3rd not really sure but the night before it, it kind of started where she was hanging out or whatever the mom came over or something and there was this whole altercation where they were threatening to call the police i guess and the uh either the police ended up showing up or didn't show up but at any rate the little girl was upset by the fact that her mom was there not quite sure about that i am going to look into this a little more but at any rate that night i guess leading in maybe it's the third or the second the dad went to work and he works overnight which is normal this was their normal routine he would go to work overnight and i guess she would stay home maybe by herself or whatever so he went to work overnight that night came home the next morning and she was gone and she's been gone ever since and that was on june 3rd no one apparently knows where she is no one has seen her no one knows what happened all they know is that somehow she left that night and the craziest part about this is that this has been since i guess that's eight months right i think it's eight months i don't know whatever i could be wrong but this has been since june 3rd this girl has been missing no one did anything the only reason that attention was brought to the fact that she was missing is because her teacher at her school a 12 year old her teacher at her school decided to highlight the fact that she's been missing I just cannot fathom for the life of me what the police was thinking when they found out, okay, this 12 year, girl, 12 year old has gone missing. Um, they l pretty much classified it as a possible runaway. What do you guys think about that? I'm so torn by the fact that, that the police are allowed to say that, oh, it's a runaway, so you don't give that much attention to it. It pisses me off because honestly, there should be no circumstance where a child, I would even say under the age of 16, is allowed to just vanish from their home and the police are able to label the person as a runaway, which means dedicate less resources or less effort into trying to find the child. That to me is crazy. You know, so this, this little girl, I'm gonna plug in a picture of her when I get a minute, when I stop, I'm driving. She's gorgeous a beautiful little girl her name is Lori page she was 12 years old she's like 120 pounds she has dreads at missing out of tallahassee for almost eight months it seems and no one even thought to say hey we need to start looking for her apparently they didn't even start searching or even gave any attention to the fact that she was missing they meaning the police or anyone until 14 days after she was gone by then she could have been anywhere she could be anywhere no one has no they don't know who she could have went with they know nothing the mom was on nancy grace like i said she said that you know she was very upset and kind of saying pretty much blaming the law enforcement not to mention it's just the circumstances are really crazy i'm gonna put a clip in sorry if y'all are jerking around because i'm in my neighborhood and there's tons of speed bumps and the road is just whatever but anyways i'm gonna put a clip in about Lori. And the story from Nancy Grace, so you guys can hear it from them, what I'm talking about. And I guess share it around, share that video around. If you, you know, anywhere, 12 years old, 
good student, great grades, never had any problems with, you know, discipline or behavior or, you know, running away or anything. And no one feels like at the time, no one felt like it was an urgent matter to look for this girl. The only reason that there's even any conversation right now about looking for her is because Nancy Grace got involved. So then, and Nancy said that she had been begging the police to come on, give some sort of report, talk about it, whatever and they would do nothing. Now, all of a sudden, because she's airing things out, they are acting like it's it's relevant and it is worthy to actually look for, the, that Lori is actually worthy of looking for or even attempting to look for her. It's absolutely disgusting. And then on top of that, I and, and I just happened to look, um, after I watched the video, I went and just did a quick search of her name. And you do get all of these um, news outlets in Tallahassee that are, are talking about it. And the mom and the teacher, I think, said that it was either the mom or the teacher said that this is, that's what happened. The news outlet was, the news in Tallahassee was actually trying to, you know, highlight the fact that this 12-year-old was gone, vanished from her home, and no one knows how or why. Whereas the police labeled her as a runaway and no one felt like it was important to, they didn't feel like it was important to even look for her. That's just mind blowing to me to think that a 12 year old could be out there somewhere and for eight months. Sex trafficking, human trafficking, all that stuff is so popular right now. I can't even fathom why it is allowed by law enforcement to say that, oh, runaway is the first resort. At this point, I feel like human trafficking should be the first, alter like the first the first thought should be human trafficking. Anytime someone, especially a child under 16 is missing or has just vanished. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And again, I'm gonna put in a clip about um, from Nancy, Nancy Grace's um, story about the little girl, as well as a photo. Bye.